And welcome back to Alabama Live. We are live with Shamari Figures, who is the Democratic candidate running to represent Alabama's second congressional district. We just talked a little bit about some of the issues, but I want to dig a little bit deeper into some of those hot button topics that we've heard about over the course of this campaign. One of them in particular, inflation. Talk a little bit about your plans to address the drastic increase we've seen in the price of nearly everything. Yeah, look, look, the economy has uh, has certainly been at the top of people's minds uh, here in this district, just like uh, just like healthcare has uh, ha has been. And so, this is something that look, we've seen the the current administration take significant steps to 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 make the economy stronger. We're seeing the signs that. Uh, that the economy is getting to a place where uh, where we want it to be. We're seeing strong job numbers, strong stock market performance, um, strong GDP growth numbers that were just announced last week. But at the end of the day, people care about how it's hitting them at home and in the grocery store every single day. Uh, and we know that inflation got the way it did, not because of the policies of any one particular administration, but because of effects uh, that happened when this nation was coming out of and recovering uh, from COVID. And so that's something that we have to be realistic in assessing. Um, but we're seeing uh, us move in the right direction. And in Congress, we have an obligation to make sure that we continue those policies, to make sure that the federal government is taking responsible fiscal steps, both from a government spending standpoint, um, as well as from a uh, monetary regulatory uh, standpoint and controlling uh, the interest rate, which I think um, most you know economists generally agree that this administration has done a very good job in terms of making sure that we did not fall into a recession or a depression uh, coming out of you know what was the worst financial circumstance that a president has inherited since the Great Depression. Uh, and so we have to keep uh, moving that ball in the right direction. What that looks like is making sure that you know that government is spending smartly, spending wisely, um, that it's making the investments in the types of projects that are going to generate Rate revenue that's going to that are going to create jobs. Uh, we've seen those investments recently here in Mobile, who is the recipient of the largest federal grant that the uh, government has ever uh, uh, given to the state of Alabama to, to help get a new uh, bridge project off of the ground. And we have to keep those investments going. We need the infrastructure investments across this district, across this state, to benefit um, uh, the economy regionally um, and, and certainly here at uh, here at home. Shamari, this is an important role. The winner of Alabama's second congressional district race could very well determine which party controls the U.S. House of Representatives. As we count down to Election Day, what is it you want voters to know? What do you want them to understand about you as they head to the polls to make this very important decision? Look, we, we keep the main thing the main thing. And what I mean by that is the issues that are impacting people here locally. That will always drive what I do. I don't need to go to Washington, D.C. to learn how to be a Democrat. I, I, I know why I hold the beliefs that I hold. I need to go to Washington, D.C. to make sure that we're standing up for the issues, for the people, for the communities, for the counties and cities and towns uh, that are here in this district. Not just screaming and, 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 and yelling about uh, issues that are not impacting the day-to-day -day life here in the state of Alabama or certainly in District 2. We need people to go up there to find the resources that we need to get a hospital open in Macon County, to be able to expand an electrical grid in Macon County so that they can be more attractive to more industry. We need to find the resources to reopen that hospital in Bullock County. We need to find the resources uh, to continue to build out the bridge here in Mobile County and open up those hospitals uh, in the other rural counties that have lost uh, healthcare access here. Those are the real issues that we're hearing from about people, uh, from people uh, as we go across this district. You know, finding those resources to invest in those job training and workforce development programs and enhance our uh, uh, ability of communities across this district to be able to recruit in businesses, to be able to provide those higher paying, better benefit uh, jobs. And so that's what we're going to Washington to focus on. If you want someone that's going to go up there just to play partisan politics, I'm not your guy. But if you want someone that's going to go up there and give it everything that he's got every single day, Day, focusing on the issues that matter here to be able to improve economic outcomes, to be able to improve educational opportunities and outcomes, and be able to, to, to certainly tackle the health outcomes, to stand up for Social Security, to stand up for Medicare, to stand up for women's rights, to choose uh, what they do with their own bodies, then that's the candidate that I am. And that's what I'm going to Washington, D.C. to do every single day, is to make sure that we're standing up for District 2. Shamari Figures, the Democratic candidate for Alabama's second congressional district. Thanks for spending time with us. Thanks for helping us help voters in this district make the most informed decision. Election Day, by the way, is Tuesday, November 5th. We'll be back with Thank more Alabama Lives after this.